look at yourself in the mirror. It didn't take long for this rally criticizing legalization to descend into a shouting match. It was our duty to speak up against scapegoating then. A group of anti-cannabis activists converged on the Vancouver Art Gallery today. They raised a swath of concerns ranging from secondhand smoke to the impacts of marijuana on mental health. I challenge the validity of medical marijuana. The rally was led by former U.S. drug policy advisor Dr. Kevin Sabet, who claims that Canada is now the world's biggest drug dealer. The government has not gotten the word out on driving. Marijuana at least doubles the risk of car crashes. We've not gotten the word out about the developing brain. 18 is way too young. There was no counter-protest planned, but the picket signs asserting that marijuana kills brain cells were enough to draw the scorn of cannabis smokers who were visiting this pop-up dispensary just steps away from the rally. This is entirely incorrect. It's crazy. It's ab This is disgusting. And more of this over and over again with people who haven't bothered to do 20 honest hours of research. Ironically, as tensions mounted, there was some common ground. Both sides had concerns about big cannabis corporations taking over the industry, but for entirely different reasons. We don't want to see this industry uh, grow to such a size and become like big tobacco, where they targeted those most vulnerable in our society, kids and minorities and vulnerable neighborhoods. Local cannabis activist Darren Rutten launched his own protest today. He says a government-sponsored monopoly is squeezing out producers who pioneered BC's cannabis industry. Well, everything really that the culture has been about up to this point is still illegal so they're not legalizing anything that we do really except for puffing on a government bought joint. Just one day into legalization and there's no end to debates like these. John Hernandez, CBC News, Vancouver.